them so bring the receipt. And may I start uh, the next session? And today, the topic is uh, biological clock and its clinical use. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Miyake. First, I sincerely appreciate very kind invitation to me, Dr. Uh, Dr. Munase. Thank you very much. Today's my topic is biological clock and its clinical use. Today's my topics are these four. The first one of them in recent progress in chronobiology. Most functions of life, including autonomic nervous, endocrine, and immune systems, are not homeostatic, but show circadian fluctuations to coordinate with the natural 24 hourly light to the light to the cycle. This really show circadian rhythm of melatonin and cortisol in saliva. More than 10 days ambulatory blood pressure monitoring disclosed variation of blood pressure and heart rate also shows circadian rhythm as shown the left side is time series data and right side shows maximum entropy method of spectrum, which shows around 24 hour and around 12 hour period Onset of the disease also shows circadian rhythm, and as shown here, myocardial infarction is frequent in the morning. Chronobiology as a science in its own right was proposed in 1950 by Franz Halber, who found a genetic basis for 24-hour variation in counts of circulating eosinophil cells in five different strains of inbred mice and officially introduced this term and circadian to a nomenclature committee in Stockholm was the first time in 1955, but first published circadian in 1959, as shown in this paper. I met him in 1988. Uh, this slide shows together with him at his home. We, we, we were young. <laughs> <laughs> Most organisms from cyanobacteria to mammals are known to use circadian mechanisms to coordinate their activities with the natural 24 hour light back cycle and are interrupting social ecologic schedules. Central, uh, this slide shows a light brain. The central circadian clock exists. Supra-hyazomatic nuclei, SCN, or the hypothalamus in mammals. <coughs> Mammalian circadian clockwork model is shown here. 24 hour, about 24 circadian rhythm is uh, from negative transcription feedback groups, as shown here. When the human clock gene was disclosed and mapped to chromosome in 1997, it was surprising to see 
that the clock gene was very similar in all earthly life. This slide shows core group of six clock genes, PAR1, PAR2, PAR1, PAR2, and BMR1 and clock. And in recent years, this core group is stabilizing by the stabilizing group. Recent several papers showed clock gene mutant animals develop metabolic syndrome along with growing time. As shown in this paper, metabolic parameters in wild type and clock mutant mice is shown here, and in animals with clock gene mutant animals, triglyceride, cholesterol, and glucose increase along with growing. This slide shows hierarchy system of clock work in human. Not only central clock in the supraplasmatic nuclei, but also there are many peripheral clocks, liver, kidney, perch, battery, and thousands of billions biological clocks are working, and central clock is cooperating coordinating with peripheral clocks. Recently, common disease such as hypertension, hyperlipidemia, mitral infarction, atherosclerosis is clock related. Thus, it is now discussing how circadian function is associated with not only quality of life, but also with morbidity, mortality and longevity. Next topics is chronomics. Life has biological rhythm, not only photic, but also non-photic rhythms. Circadian rhythm, circus semidian rhythm, that is 12 hour rhythm, seasonal rhythm is visible Rhythm. On the other hand, weekly rhythm and trans-year and cis-year rhythm. These rhythms will be presented the day after tomorrow by Franz Halbert on non photic rhythms. This slide show was shown by Zytes in circulation 1999. He showed the episode of cardiovascular outcomes, namely uh, the episode of myocardial infarction, was frequent in California in the morning, Monday, the first week of the month, and winter. So this is a good picture. I think so. Anyway, what is chronomics and what is chronomics I'd like to introduce? Chronomes are time structures consisting of multi-frequency rhythms covering frequencies over 10 orders of magnitudes, elements of chaos, trends in chaotic and rhythmic endpoints, and the other adjacent resolved variabilities. Chronomics is the term against genomics or proteomics and it can disclose covered signals on the original time series data, which is not visible without resulting by chronomics. By chronomics, we can find out the covered ethnicity or chaotic or train signals. Chronomics maps, rather than merely standardizing lighting, the availability of food and daily routines in studies on behavior in time in the proximal habitant region. Chronomics can map the dynamics of organisms' interactions with the environment near and far broadly. I'll show the here red side slide. Maybe this slide also represented by 
for Mr. Prince Harbans the day after tomorrow. As an example, I would introduce chronomics for heart rate variability. Chronomics, that is, time structures of heart rate variability include 3 second, 10 second, 5 minute, 3 hour, and circadian, weekly, and trend of age. An example of heart rate variability of a healthy young is shown here. This spectrum shows HF component, which means about 3 second <coughs> periodicity, LF component, 10 second periodicity, and very low frequency component, we call it around 5 minutes periodicity, and ultra low frequency component, we call it you know, from the cardiological science, it means around hours with the Circadian profile of parasympathetic, that is, I'm sorry, this spectrum shows the parasympathetic tone cardiac activity, and this LF component, 10 second periodicity, shows sympathetic activity of artery. So, circadian profile of parasympathetic and the sympathetic activity estimated by the 24 hour heart rate by analysis shows here. Sympathetic is increased during the <coughs> daytime and the parasympathetic increased during the night time. Circadian periodicity of heart rate we can easily find out 24 hour and 12 hour and 8 hour periodicities in this circadian heart rate <coughs> frame Decrease in parasympathetic activity, which means the three-second three component, high frequency component means three-second component, decrease with aging as shown here, five years of age, 25 years of age, and 45 years of age. We can't find out definitely. So parasympathetic activity of heart decreases with age. However, decrease in this parasympathetic activity with aging is different between the gender. Slope of the pity line is larger in men compared to women. An example of tree links chronomics that have introduced as an aspect of chronomics, assessing broad time structures in physiological and physical environmental variables and their interactions, <coughs> the fractal nature of tree rings here determined. Fractal is one of the characteristics of chaos of complexity. In this investigation, we, we examine the chrono geo complexity <coughs> and analyze the fractality of tree rings growth. The concept of fractal is most often associated with irregular geometric objects that display self-similarities. Fractal forms are composed of subunits and sub-subunits and so on that resemble the structure of the overall object. In an ideal model, this property falls on all scales. The real world, however, necessarily imports upper and lower bounds over which such scale invariant behavior applies. Many known Euclidean structures in nature, such as branching trees and so on, are fractal. A number of complex anatomic structures also display fractal-like geometry. Application of fractal analysis may provide new approaches to assessing risk of the living and the forecasting sudden deaths in animals, including the human. Elucidating the fractal nature involved in physiologic control and the complex si signaling networks is emerging as a major challenge in the postgenomic area. For the analysis, the average measurements of studies on 11 sequoia trees 
or taken from difference. In this investigation, we analyzed the practical nature of the tendencies of 3D winds. From our spectrum of the tendencies of 2,175 years of them was analyzed by the maximum entropy method. It seems of interest to look for a proxy marker of solar activity in treating winds that cover the past 2,000 years or more. A robust line feeding algorithm of low power on low frequency was then applied to the power spectrum 10 minus 4 and 0.5 cycle per year and the slope beta of this line was calculated. This frequency band was chosen on the basis of the observation regarding the linear relationship between slope power and log frequency in the frequency band. As shown in the bottom of this figure, the upper figure shows the time series of trading weeks for over 2,000 years. As shown in the bottom of this figure, the slope beta of the line was minus 1.02. It has been known that the slope beta around minus 1 means fractal nature, which reflects such system is under physiological control. Next, we observed variability of the fractal nature of trailing widths along with growing and aging for over 2,000 years by using every 200 year time series overlapping five years. This left side of this figure shows three examples of time series data of 200 years, and the right side shows each member spectrum of the three power low behavior, showing as low power on low frequency scale. Solar activity and trading with us we are interested in is co-obligation. The physicians' records of sunspots are not long enough to look for cycles half a millennium in length. We can see solar activity by the observation of feedings by the effects of climate upon the growth of trees. Time series of tree languages is shown on the top of this figure Variability of the slope beta of the power law behavior is shown on the bottom of the figure, which shows episodic disruption of this fractal nature. Seven episodes shown as arrow, yellow arrow, are depicted in this figure. The right two episodes are coincident with the spare minimum and among the minimum. Thus, the other five episodic disappearance of the fractal nature may suggest climate changes happen on global. The other five episodes are coming around 100 BC, 500, 700, 820, and 880 AD may also correspond to climate changes that happen during times when no record on sunspot is available. Whether changes in the one of wave structure of tree winds actually correspond to changes in solar activity or climate also should be scrutinized in oral sightings side, or in other long records of reconstructed solar activity, such as those based on the Beryllium concentration in polar ice. The third topic of my talk is ecological medicine in the field. Sleep. And I have several fields uh, as a cardiologist or internal medicine, like a doctor. Uh, I visited a Japanese town in Hokkaido and I have a questionnaire. Do you sleep well every night? They answered no. One of, one of his. A 
Frank Meyer event probably comes for the incidence of vascular disease is shown here. It can be seen that subjects sleep well, sleep well, have fewer adverse vascular events, that is better event-free survivor, follow up for five years. Cox's proportional hazard model showed citizens with insomnia showed a significant association with the occurrence of vascular outcomes. Its relative risk is 3.12. One of the factors associated with insomnia is depressed mood, confirmed by visual analysis scale, unhealthy mood or visual analysis scale on family relation and questionnaire of depression scale. So the depressive mood is very important. A depression score was obtained again in one to two years and when the score had increased by more than two points compared to the first screening, such subjects were assigned to the enhanced depressed mood group. Enhanced depressed mood showed predictive value of advanced cardiovascular outcomes for five years follow up, and the relative risk is 2.18. I'd like to show another field work, field medicine in Ghana. Ladakh is one of the most remote regions of India and lies embedded in the mountains of the Karakulam, in the northwest, the Himalayas, in the southwest, and the Trans Himalayan at its core. Le Ladakh is a strongly Buddhist district of East Kashmir adjacent to Tibet and lying at 3,524 3, meters above sea level between the Kalakuram range and the Himalayas. Whereas physiological adaptation to high altitudes has been studied in resident populations of the Andes, Tibet, Nepal, North America, and Europe, much less is known about high altitudes natives in India. We are in India, and Radak is here. Summer time is 27 degrees, but in winter it is very cold. In the river is here. Now I'd like to show you sightseeing of Radak. We go, we visit villages by this car in uh, several temples. We visited like this. Together with the monks, I'm working. This is the team for visiting. Let's check. Very old monk is here. He is very beautiful. Decrease in SpO2. SpO2 means the saturation of oxygen in artery. Decrease in SpO2 when we just arrive at rain. Normal range is 95 to 98, but when just just arrived in red, it shows 72. Very low. And it's low in Delhi to bear and time course of SPO2 for 52 hours it recovered in two to, two to three days and after then we start health check. Increased fluctuations SPO2 in Lanark. This, this SPO2 time series of SPO2 in Tokyo and we arrived just after in Ladakh Bay, 
SPO2 is low and fractured very much. In Tokyo, this correlation of SPO2 and heart rate in Tokyo and Indiana. In Tokyo, um, SPO2 is high and heart rate fluctuates along with activity. On the other hand, in data, SPO2 becomes very low and it is negative correlation with heart rate. Um, so, I have some, let's check with start, asking present history of illness. Within a medical consultation, many subjects visited us. Like this, there are many people visiting us. So, we checked out several activities, both on score and the course, and blood pressure monitoring. And lastly, I had a consultation with the subject. An explanation of the result of health by, by my co-worker at Ranak, because I can't speak Ranaki. First, the operation of cardiopulmonary functions along with altitude, altitude from 3,250 meters to 4,647 meters. The neurocardiopulmonary function, including the course block design test, the up and go, the function of which and the bottom test was examined in data key subjects living at different altitudes from 3,000 to 5,000 meters. This slide shows the uh, average age of residents decrease with altitude. The average of SPO2 of the citizens decrease with Altitude. So even though they live there since they was born, their situation was very low in high, high altitude area. The historic pressure increase with altitudes both men and women. However, this relation is not so clear in systolic pressure. I don't know why. Hemoglobin, which means the concentrations of the red blood cell, increase with, increase with altitude, so concentration is uh, heavy. And height and weight and body mass index decreases with altitude in both genders. This slide shows the correlation of saturation of oxygen and blood pressure and hemoglobin at high altitude SpO2 decreases, whereas hemoglobin and diastolic BP increases with altitude. Second, alteration of cardiopulmonary functions between Danak and Japan in Tosa town in Shikoku Island. In 40 elderly subjects, in gray data. These are all of the early subjects because they show, do not show the longevity. For compared to the Tosa town, oxygen saturation, respiration rate at rest, and several cardiovascular variables, including blood pressure, heart rate, conventional ECG, and pulse wave velocity, which means the atherosclerotic level, was we measured. Up and go tests we measured in second. The time it took the subject to stand up from the chair and go to the three meters and go back to the chair and sit down again. This test is a simple measure of physical mobi mobility and demonstrate the subject's balance, gait speed, and functional ability. Functional reach used to evaluate balance, 
they present the maximum distance the subject can reach forward beyond arm's length, which maintains the fixed space of support in the standing position. And manual dexterity was assessed by using modern score. The course, course block design test were used to assess the overall cognitive function. I'll show you the right side of this slide. As a result, all uh, blood pressure and heart rate measurements were statistically significant higher in Lei Ganak than in Dosa. Shown the red color is statistically significant. And the change in heart rate from the supine to the standing position were larger in Lei than in Dosa. And of course, respiration rate is larger in Lei compared to Dosa. Elderly subjects had a lower SpO2 and a higher respiration rate in Lei compared to Dosa Japan. Next, I'd like to introduce the difference of the blood pressure increase with age. Cross-sectional study, but it is interesting and I don't think produced. When the red circle is shown the radar, green triangle show the uh, Japan, Hokkaido subjects. Increase with age, both of the citizens showed increase with age of blood pressure, but the slope is completely uh, statistically different. This difference of slope, we have several, we consider several reasons. First, at higher altitude, atmospheric oxygen is lower, and hypoxemia stimulates sympathetic nerve activity, which is associated with an increase in blood pressure and heart rate. Second, Ladakh is a cold desert and its environment temperature drops as low as minus 45 in winter. This, this factor will also stimulate sympathetic activity and increase blood pressure. Third, it has been reported that salt intake in Ladakh people is larger than in Japanese which may result in an accelerated increase in its historical and bicycle pressure with age compared to Japanese people. Fourth, angiotensin combating enzyme ACE gene ID polymorphism is reported associated with high altitude disorders. It is also speculated that the polymorphism may be related to the larger increase in blood pressure with age without healing. Fifth, medical services not only, are only now developing in Ghana, and citizens do not have sufficient access to medicines. Sixth, poverty in Ghana people is such that delivery of electric power is insufficient. Very few electric power. Lastly, Cultural differences between Ladakh and Japan may also contribute to the difference in the effect of aging and population. This event shows relationship between SPO2 and population in citizens at high altitude. Citizens of the lower SPO2 increase higher accessory population. And citizens of the lower SPO2 showed larger pulse wave velocity, which means advanced papillus sclerosis. In conclusion, adaptation to high altitudes was confirmed in the, through investigation in Bayana. Diastolic blood pressure was higher and increase in heart rate with postural change was higher in Ray than in Dosa. The present study also showed that the cognitive function and ADM functions were worse at high than low altitude. So, 
as a doctor, I'd like to recommend we have to take care of age associated index. For example, in high altitude area, we have to take care of these indices, hypoxemia, blood pressure, orthotachycardia, and so on. In conclusion, comprehensive cardiovascular assessment is needed to achieve better diagnosis for a more fruitful treatment. So specifically, the effect of different environmental factors, such as weather, inside and outside temperatures, sunshine duration, geomagnetic latitude, and geographic altitude, the effect of lifestyle features, such as body weight, salt intake, fruit and vegetable intake, alcohol consumption, smoking, physical activity, and duration of sleep, as well as depression, and quality of life scores, and the effect of neurobehavioral functions, needs to be assessed together with blood pressure change, including today, unfortunately, I cannot introduce you, we usually measure blood pressure continuously, not only 24 hours, but also seven days. The last topics shortly I'd like to introduce chrono astrobiology. Um, this is the present me and Professor Franz Harbour in Vienna. Uh, it's a meeting place of chrono astrobiology. Chrono astrobiology is depending on depending on philosophy of early organism of Earth have developed and adapted oneself to the surrounding cycles of cosmos. When we had analyzed a data since and found a new periodicity, we have to search for a near match in the natural physical environment. As shown here, repeating under the pressure monitoring for seven days, it is a Monday morning surge in blood pressure in a community brain population. Morning surge means abrupt increase in blood pressure in the morning compared to the night. Morning surge is usually we can observe as a physiological response, but please note the degree of morning rise in the morning is higher Monday and Tuesday compared to the Saturday and Sunday. This ratio morning pressure average of three hours in the mornings, which also the similar pattern. So we can find out there is a seven day rhythm around the cosmos. So Franz Harvard found found not, not equally seven days, but around seven days. 6.74, circa seven periodicity in KP, geomagnetic activity. Any old or newly observed periodicity in physics should prompt the search for something equivalent in biology. Three links of sequoia is shown here. It seemed of interest to look for a proxy marker of solar activity drilling with us that cover the past 2,000 years or more. We have analyzed <coughs> 11 sequoias and have found a period 536 years are the most prominent feature as shown here. In that Indirect proxy approximations of solar activity as an effect of climate upon the growth of trees, a cycle with a period of 534 years is shown here. So we can have our humans have such 500 resumicity. We can find, we, we have to search. As a result, 
Professor Harman found a similar cyclist was found in the spectrum of international batteries with a period of 499 years, as also found in human creative culture growth, as shown here. Maybe a precise, descriptive, precise explanation will be presented the day after tomorrow by Professor Hara. So, in conclusion, we have to try to do prehabilitation by using pronouns and pronomics. Recovery of ability is very difficult and cost, the cost is very high. So we have to check out who is easy to be diseased. It is very difficult, but we can do it by using chronomics. So prehabilitation is very important. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. And uh, we start uh, the discussion. Uh, are there any comments or questions to uh, this talk? Please. I just have a question. And you know, every one of us knows such phenomena. The during aging, we have acceleration of time. Every next year, it comes faster and faster than previous year. Uh, this is a, a lot of psychological explanation for that. But I never heard about any molecular or physiological explanation of this phenomenon. Uh, is it uh, some kind of explanation concerning chronomes, this effect? Thank you. Thank you very much. A very difficult question. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. But uh, um, speed of time is not constant. Uh, in the morning, time passed very fast, very quick. And in the evening, it passed slow. So, how do you say? Uh, feeling of the time speed is different between the young and uh, elderly. But I don't know, maybe pro my teacher, Professor Harvas, can answer instead of me. Okay? I think Dr. Otsuka just demonstrated that he is the teacher and I am the student. So I want to congratulate him, of course. I do not know the answer, it's a good question. But I can look it up because we have to have it. We have a fellow who estimated one minute for the past 44 zero years. And his father started in his 60s and estimated he did only blood pressure. So with the father, we can't, we can look only at blood pressure. But with the son, I can give you an answer if you give me your card. I give you both an answer. But thank you for a very nice presentation. I would like to make one comment now. <coughs> rehabilitation, instead of rehabilitation, is a play with words. But if you do invest into seven days of monitoring, it can be the equivalent of vaccination. So here it is, it's your challenge in the States, in Japan in particular, and around the world. We have been taking that blood pressure with a variable that brings about hundreds of millions of people being treated worldwide, and the number of them trading a risk greater than a high blood pressure for having a successful treatment of blood pressure. That's what Dr. Otsuka's presentation on rehabilitation was all about. Thank you, Kunyak. Thank you for your answer.
uh, I have uh, I have a majority in the town uh, for the elderly subjects more than 75 years of age. I ask to them to do time estimation tests. Uh, we we ask them to estimate 60 seconds. And citizens answer, uh, and we measure the time of by stop 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 uh, When citizens answer, 45 seconds. Yes, 60 seconds passed. Is did such subjects have a uh, event? Uh, Good event free, fewer uh, uh, event free of outcome. However, uh, when 75 second time and yes 60 second, these subjects show the frequent cardiovascular events. So uh, your question is very important, but why I don't know. It wasn't clear whether your 500-year cycle that uh, came out of your analysis uh, was, well, it was related apparently to some solar cycle you made this point, is that correct? It's related to some physical uh, cycle of solar luminosity related then to climate? Well, <laughs> so I can't understand. I'll, I'll try again. Yeah. Maybe. So I, I haven't answered my I haven't asked my question yet though. So uh, I just sort of the question is uh, is the 500 year cycle that came out of the analysis that we just saw is that due to climate changes related to the a solar cycle or is it uh, related to uh, Temperature changes, uh, humidity changes, water. What, what does the 500 year mean? It's a good question. And in this case, there is a reasonably satisfactory answer. If you go to stellar plants and stellar plants in their coloring, you can get go back for quite a bit more than 500 years. So there you do find distinct temperature changes. So an association with climate change is beyond any question. The interesting point that Professor Otsuka, my teacher, made is this, that at the same time, the emergence of prominent historians, the emergence of prominent poets, the emergence of prominent physicians in China, in India, um, in the Greco-Roman culture that had at the time no internet, no connection, was almost simultaneous, speaking of historical moments. So what else but the sun or the cosmos could have brought about the same emergence? So on the one hand we felt just like circadian 60 years ago seemed to be there everywhere. We now, if we look at any one phenomenon and do have the data to look at them and are cowardly enough to insist on inferential statistics, and we do, then we do find this a reasonably narrow confidence, in 95% confidence into what, what we call a phenomenon of congruence between the periodicities in stellar bad temperature, in war, international battles, and the number of phenomena that seem to be completely unfocused. And what appeared to be unfocused may indeed be focused if, as Chichevsky put it, the sun is responsible. I wouldn't say as he did, the sun is guilty. But actually, Kudyaki could have answered the question much better than I do, but he was polite and wanted to give an old follow a chance to say a word in advance. Thank you for your question. Thank you very much. And, uh, any comments? Uh, 
uh, I like this question about the relationship in the Sakaian reason and the life song. But before I come to that, uh, let me introduce uh, the uh, paradoxical observation that I learned recently from my friend who have long been engaged in the Sakaian study in insects. Okay. In some light active and dark inactive insect uh, placed in the constant darkness, uh, the behavior rhythm, psychedelic rhythm, disappeared as expected. How do you think that the, the rhythm appeared uh, constant active or constant inactive? Which do you suppose? <laughs> uh, <laughs> the answer was constant active for 24 hours through so many days. Okay. Then the lifespan of the insect was studied and they had a longer lifespan. So it tells us that um, periodicity is not a uh, sufficient condition for the longer lifespan. Uh, how do you think of this observation? Uh, I'd like to hear your opinion about this phenomenon. Yes. Thanks so much for very nice questions. Uh, mm, uh, all, of the, all of the lives in Earth have a circadian rhythm, isn't it? And human is a daily active animals. The learning needs to show 25 hours. On the other hand, in general, uh, Animals working during night time show the shorter second arithmetic by 23 and 23.5 hours. So, in the, so your suggestion is, uh, thank you so much for your suggestion. So, in subjects, especially patients, for example, suffering from myocardial infarction, in such subjects, in, in such patients, uh, shift work. And shift work is not so good for longevity. Okay. So, subject with some disease, have to uh, take care to keep the 24 hour limit. Uh, 24 is very important. And uh, if subjects are living, not 24, but for example, 25 hour, 28 hour, 14 light, 14 dark circum uh, environment, such subjects uh, have a shorter uh, longevity. So, do you have a concrete data about that? Uh, my, my, my data, it is not, not my data, but there is a uh, Epidemiological data analysis. Well, in this case, I introduced it and do not have the, uh, anyway, uh, reasons, psychological reasons, uh, not the 25 or 23 or something like that. No, no reasons. But they constantly move for 24 hours, so it may uh, require a lot of energy. But still, they live it longer. So, it is. Some kind of explanation may be that to keep the psychiatric reason may require much more energy than in a, in a rhythmic, a rhythmic state. How do you think of that? Yes, it is right, I think so. However, uh, there is many kinds of psychiatric reason, for example, protein synthesis or glyphon synthesis and so on. So it may be depending on the uh, physiological pattern different, but generally, I accept your question. Uh, uh. Okay. Please. Uh, you mentioned about uh, relationship between uh, rhythm of uh, 
nature and the human beings. And how about uh, you? Um, uh, now we are uh, uh, e eating together and uh, getting up maybe simultaneously here. So how about your, uh, your idea about uh, relationship between uh, human beings, rhythms of uh, each human being? So, uh, so coordination. So, uh, and now uh, we are forced to uh, share uh, uh, life with uh, mm, We are eating not in the morning, but it is uh, under the uh, under the internal clock, I believe. So maybe internal clock and the social work is interacting together. So maybe your question is... I, I, I mean, uh, my imagination is uh, if uh, 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 in Tokyo, uh, human, uh, uh, all person uh, walk faster than uh, uh, rural cities, so such kind of, uh, my imagination is based on such kind of in any place we have psychedelic ethnicity similarly, but the, um, we, we, when we analyze the psychedelic rhythm, we can, uh, we, have, we can have a bit of average and psychedelic amplitude, uh, level of fluctuations, and phase uh, of the psychedelic ethnicity. Maybe uh, when the harder city, like, like uh, Tokyo, amplitude, Sakarian amplitude, fluctuation is rather than the rural cities. So there is a little difference between them. But uh, as a, uh, 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 generally, it is similar. <laughs> あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
Yes, in recent years, there are many scientific data that glucogen mutant animals have a hypertension, hyperlipidemia, increased cholesterol, and metabolic syndrome, or cancer, and so on. So we need circadian rhythm for the progress of what is life. Uh, cyanobacteria also has a circadian rhythm. So this uh, mechanism is maybe more ancient than what we have now. So why this evolved through an uh, evolution of life? Uh, because uh, as you said that this mechanism uh, consumes many energy, and so, so it's energy consuming mechanism, but still many species possess this mechanism inside. So I want to know what is the benefit this giving, uh, giving us? Uh. We have, we, we obtain the circadian mechanisms of the life on the earth, uh, all of the earth, because uh, without circadian rhythm, life without circadian rhythm cannot be on the earth, I believe, including humans. Okay? We can sleep at night. <laughs> That's so you mean, uh, because of this 24-hour uh, solar system uh, on this planet, it's maybe the uh, driving force of this planet? Okay, okay. Yes. Okay.